Painting loose flowers is a very intuitive process. It really does take about one minute of your time to paint a beautiful flower like this. Now just getting my materials ready. I just need some clean water, um, Arches watercolor paper, and I am getting my paints ready. I'm going to use cadmium yellow, opera pink, and indigo. So I am using a, um, a very big brush in very clean water. So I'm just creating the shape of the flower with just clean water just big petals a uh, very loose kind of approach it doesn't need to be perfect you just need to paint the flower with just water now with a smaller brush or maybe the same brush grab a little bit of the opera pink or your favorite color and just dab a little bit of it in the water that's already in the paper so this is a wet and wet technique and the mixture of these two colors the opera pink and the yellow create a beautiful peach color for the flower but you can use um any color combination that you like so i'm just dabbing a little bit of color i am not painting entirely in the whole petal so you see how the flower starts coming together as you keep dabbing here and there but the purpose of this loose flower approach is that you're just letting the paint flow in the water you're just kind of dabbing and letting it flow and it's going to eventually look absolutely gorgeous when the paint just finishes drying on the paper and mixes with the water it just looks absolutely gorgeous Now I am going to use a very deep green, which is a mixture of indigo and the green that I had previously mixed, so is cadmium yellow and indigo. Um, and I love this very deep, almost indigo green, but it still is indigo. Um, so with a soft brush, um, this is a synthetic round number two. I'm just dragging a little bit of green, a little bit of indigo to create that contrast to create my stem and my leaves. Now for the center of the flower, I want to keep it really dark and intense. So I am using the same brush, the same synthetic brush number two, and um, a very intense deep indigo. And you can see that this very deep color creates a beautiful, gorgeous contrast in the middle of the flower. So I'm trying not to um, work on it too much, like overworking, which is something that I tend to do. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that and let it dry. So now let's go ahead and do it again just to make sure we got the technique down. So again, just grab your brush and paint big flower petals with clean water. Now that we have our flower ready, we're just dabbing a little bit of pink. I'm using the same colors because honestly, I'm just obsessed with the color combination of pink and yellow. So let's go ahead and just dab some color on the already wet petals on the wet paper and you will see how the flower starts coming together. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of the yellow and in the empty spaces and wherever you feel like it will help the flower look a little bit more um, together basically if you need to add a little bit on the edges in the center to make sure that the flower the petals look like petals. Now again for the center I am using a very deep indigo and I am making sure that I am touching the wet 
um, part of the petal at the center so I can have those beautiful contrasting blooms in the center. Now with a mixture of a little bit of indigo and green, I'm going to go ahead and paint the stem. I am actually touching the petal in this case as well because I want to have those beautiful blooms that you create when two contrasting colors um, connect from like the wet on wet technique. And I like to touch um, the petal with my leaves. So the color bleeds and it's a very beautiful like watercolor um, aesthetic when we have those blooms happening uh, from like the leaf to the petal or from the center of the flower to the petal. Um, so that is the approach today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the technique, the materials, um, or if you have any suggestions for next time.